Hi, my name's Simon. Welcome to another video where I'm going to share with you some hints and tips about how to use OBS if you're teaching online using Zoom or Skype. In this particular video, I'm going to be looking at the difference between display capture and Windows capture and focusing on one or two issues that you might have difficulty with. Now, someone left a comment for me in what, under one of my videos which talked about something that could he could not do using display capture. So I investigated and I found out that indeed there is something about display capture which you can't do. So in this video I'm going to go through that and I'm going to give you an alternative. But first of all if you don't know what display capture is or window capture is then let me show you. So you can see here in the sources, there are three sources. I've got the video capture device, which is my web camera. This is on the top. Then I've got display capture, which you can see, which is my monitor. And so this is giving you this infinity effect of OBS and the Word document before uh, behind me. And then you've got Windows capture. Now, Windows capture captures a particular window. Now, I know that's not much help, so I'll explain it in a different way. If you just want to show a Word document or one web page or you want to show an Excel spreadsheet and that's all you want to do, then this uh, Windows Capture will allow you to do that. So if I double click on uh, Windows Capture, you can see here these are the windows that I have open on my computer right now. So you can see that I've got Audacity, which is recording my sound. So if I click that, you'll be able to see in fact, let's just click OK and I'll put uh, Windows Capture behind me and then straight away behind me you'll see Audacity working away recording my sound. If I double click on that and I put on Excel for example and click OK then the window behind me will go to that of Excel. So you can see that you can choose the window that you want to show. And of course you resize that in the way that you want. So let me just resize that now. And there we go. Now, you can show individual programs that you want to show and that means you can control the background, which is fantastic. But there's one disadvantage with Windows Capture and that is Windows Capture doesn't show you drop down menus. And it doesn't show you drop down menus because it thinks that drop down menus are a different window. So you've got one window which is the main Excel spreadsheet and if you click on a menu option then that opens up another window and of course it doesn't capture that window. Don't know what I'm talking about? Let me show you. So let me put the display capture behind me again and I'm going to bring across Excel. So if I click on Excel and bring it across. So here we go. So here we can see if I click on this option, I bring up a menu. Now, on display capture, which, are, which is my monitor, you can see this menu. At least I hope you can. Let me just make sure that you can. There we go. So you can see this menu. But if I go to um, Windows Capture for Excel, double click on uh, that. In fact, let's keep that open. You can see here this is the Windows Capture in the settings box and I'm going to drag this over here so it's behind me and you can see now that my arrow is now over this option here and it's highlighted also on the settings screen as well. But if I click the menu option here you can see that it opens up above my head but if you have a look at the settings screen you'll see that the menu hasn't opened up. You can't see the menu and this is what caused the problem. So the person who wrote to me was using a program, I don't know whether it was uh, Chrome or Microsoft Word or whatever it was, they clicked on the menu to open it up to show the person what was going on. I guess they were making some kind of instructional video, for example, click here, click here, click here, click here. And if you use Windows Capture, you can't show the menus, which means that if you're going to do that kind of video, or if you want to show the menus, you've got to do this on display capture. Now, the disadvantage there is that with display capture, you've got to manage your display because remember, it's showing you the monitor. So you've got to manage that a lot better. You can't just drag things in and out and so on. And this is a problem if you are using OBS and you've got one monitor. 
If you've got two monitors, then you can simply drag things over to the side. So you can just simply drag things up there or as a matter of fact, I've got three monitors set up at the moment, so I'll just drag something up at the top as well. So with more monitors, you can manage the situation a little bit better. But of course, it might be the circumstance where you're only using one monitor, in which case the Windows Capture option gives you much better, much better possibility to manage what's going on. But it does have that disadvantage. At the moment, there is no workaround for this, at least not that I am aware of. If there is, please leave a comment below. So all I can suggest right now is if you want to show menu options, then you've got to use display capture. Okay, that's it from me for now. I'll see you again soon.